of self-defense and mobilizing your opponent. So come on by and give me your information and you read that order and how you right can use this more effectively. One more time. The minute he touches me, I touch him. Cut it down. Snap. Let's go. Let's go. How is that possible? Where did he go? I'm not doing this, folks. That's not what I did. He ain't great. There's a difference between pain and injury. Pain lasts for a second. Injury lasts a lifetime. I want to inflict pain. Come out, touch, throw. He's down. Snap. Fight over. Today may be the day you need this technique to save your life. You don't get three hours to practice it. That's all the time you get. Now go one, two, three. Make sure you haven't forgotten that. Your touch, he's touch. Move it.
Why doesn't he break my jaw? I said touch, elbow to elbow. Watch my body, not my hand, because my hand ain't going nowhere. It's my body. My body puts 200 pounds of torque on his elbows. Pop. Bang. Up and at him. Now we go one, two, three, four, five. And everybody said, oh, but I want to ask a question. I'm not answering anything. I'm not answering anything. Because if you give a man a fish, you feed him for the day. But if you teach him how to fish, you take care of him for the rest of his life. If you have a problem with a technique, find your way out. I've already told you, everything ain't the way you want it. Some people come up here. Come here. Some people are grabbing like this. Some people are grabbing like this. Some people are grabbing like this. You have to be able to adjust in the midst of combat. It's not pretty, and it's not this. It's not real. That's art. That's art. Let's go. Bend the elbow. The now, up. no arm power. Just turn over and look at that man with the camera and smile. <laughs> Do it. That's how you break it. Put it on, Justin. Now, most of them, they're teaching you to peel off, kick, bro. Guess what? I'm not making fun of it. We do it ourselves. Let me just ask you something. If this man puts both his hands on my throat, why don't I break his jaw? Both of his weapons are occupied. So what you doing grabbing his wrist? Helping him choke you? Helping him choke you? Because a real choke, once he puts these on my throat and I pull this way, I'm destroying my own esophagus. His thumbs are in, folks. I'm ripping my own esophagus out. How about breaking his jaw? Great. How about clapping those ears and grabbing his eyes? Now we have his ears, which are held on by nothing more than cartilage. If I want to rip it off his head, I can. Thumbs are here. Now, turn him around, grab that head, bingo. One more time. He touches me, I touch him. Grab, there's his eyes. Turn that head. Snap, bingo, now let's go. Very afraid of this position, come on in here. Kneel down, he wants to choke me. It's a very, very difficult technique, isn't it? All we want to do is one movement and break both elbows. Snap, fight's over. That's all, trap his hands, don't take them off. Right up to his head, snap your hips, raise your hips. Isn't that wonderful? Both elbows at one time. Grab the throat, trap, elbows up, snap. Let's go. Now every martial artist in the world wants you to do something real fancy to get out of this. All I want you to do is think about what is the closest thing to you right now. Your head locked in. Take this hand up through the ground. Through. Come on up. Why are we going to go through all of this and all of this and all of this and all of this when his head is right here? We're not trying to be pretty. You're trying to live. There's people out there that will kill you. One. Two. Bang. Let's go. You've already lost. It makes you a loser. It makes you a loser. Imposing your physical will on somebody doesn't make you a tough guy. It makes you a thug. That means you're no better than the ones that are in the street. Right? Why else aren't we trained? To defend ourselves. The other thing is, everybody talks about martial arts, and they say physical, mental, and spiritual. Is it true? I don't know. The majority of schools I go to, the only thing they do is teach you to punch somebody in the face, kick them in the groin. But what about here? What about the mental training? What about spirituality? Your connection to God? And I'm not talking about being an atheist or anything else. That's up to you. But realize this. When you are not subjected to someone, you are out of control. When you always have a true master to answer to, a 
true master to answer to, one who is infallible, one for you to set an example to follow, that means something. Because trust me, doesn't matter what color, 